Jonathan Honig says more proof the government is treating your money like monopoly money. He's joined by Jonas Max Ferris and Lenore Hawkins. Jonathan, make your case. Well, it's money out the door, Liz. It's taxpayer money once again literally flushed down the drain. And to that extent, it's, it's thievery. It's criminal theft. Hundreds of millions of dollars, billions when you add it all up, uh, flushed down the toilet into the green energy fraud. And as the representative pointed out, government's role is to protect rights, not to act like a private equity investor. And whether it's ethanol under the previous uh, president or Solandra and now Beacon Power under our current president, when governments make decisions for political purposes, not economic ones, Wealth destruction always follows. You know, Lenore, uh, some people on the left would say, you know, I've heard them make this case that, you know, the oil companies get tax breaks. We need to make these taxpayer investments in clean energy in order to get away from fossil fuels. But oil companies also pay a lot in taxes. What do you buy? Do you buy that argument? That argument being that, you know, we need to use taxpayer money to make clean energy investments? No, the government's role is to create an environment for success, not to pick which technologies nor which companies are going to be successful. The problem here is that, that through taxation, the government takes productive capital from a successful company, sets aside a portion for bureaucratic costs, and then funnels the remainder into ventures that serve political ends, not necessarily market goals. That just results in in waste of resources and it's a drain on the economy. All right, Jonas, if you know if this if this worked, you know, we know that a lot of industries through the decades have gotten tax free money. But if this worked, it was if it was so successful, we would not be fourteen trillion dollars in the hole, right? Well, if it weren't, there'd be a lot of upside. I mean if we're gonna okay, let's pretend we're gonna play venture capital for the sake of argument. The whole point of that is you actually have a portfolio of companies where maybe half will go bankrupt. That's not abnormal. I'm one surprised that these startup energy companies are going broke left and right. That is the model. The difference is when Kleiner Perkins or a venture capitalist puts money in one of these, they might make 10, 20, 30 times. Yeah, but it's a the, return. But the, tax the government's not going to make but anything. Do you, agree that tax alone. do you agree this is a great use of taxpayer money? No, but let me highlight that. It's very easy to sit here and say, oh, this is uh, messing with the free market. You're bad to bound to lose. This is stupid. But the reality is is the other governments of the world aren't making these kind of investments. Now, if they weren't doing that, we shouldn't be doing this, right? Because there'd be a free market. Yeah, but you're yeah, yeah, just saying, go Jonathan, Jonathan they're, they're making investments and they're making the products, you know, in China much yeah, more yeah. cheaply on the backs of, you know, uh, low-cost labor there, hurting their own populations, right? And China's making those windmills and, and, and uh, technologies to sell to us simply because of our subsidies. I think, Jonas, that's the problem. Just because every other country is subsidizing this technology, to our other guest point, which simply does not work, why should we throw U.S. taxpayer money, uh, money down the drain to follow? Go ahead. Because there's going to be a point in 5 or 10 or 15 years where this will be financially feasible. It's not now because regular energy is too cheap. And they're essentially jump-starting that curve by, by essentially taking losses now. We heard the, the same thing in the point? 70s. Finish. I'm just saying there's going to be a point in 10 or 15 years where we're not going to own this industry because we let other governments take it control by but handing But so money. what? So then the consumer will still get it cheap. Lenore, here's the issue, too. You know, we've got venture capitalists in California doing things like launching startup uh, subsidies, subsidy startups, these little units that take advantage of government money, and then they line their own pockets with it. We see that happening in California. What do you make of that? The incentives are all, are all perverted. Now, I, I appreciate that what you're, you're talking about here is you don't want us to be behind with uh, the technology. So the thinking of having government subsidize the generation of new technology, that that would be a good thing. However, to what you just said, the point there, it, the, the incentives are all perverted. You don't have the feedback of the market where it, the desire is to get a decent return. These decisions are being made for right. political reasons. They're not the, being right, made jo Jonas, for returns. Right. Jonas gets the final word. Isn't that the issue that the government is inefficient with taxpayer money? Yeah, but there's a, a situation here that's going on globally, and there's this is a poorly designed program. There is a okay. way to compete and beat China without throwing money in the toilet. We could be investing alongside a venture capital firm with the same up and downside in that way. At least they're doing the due diligence to know what companies. Well, maybe you or should not. be running the program. I'm then. just saying, there's a way to pull this off and beat the, and the beat the Germany. And <laughs> what do you do instead? Of you get down to Occupy Washington. And you this go, you to do your own a Occupy very Department of way Energy. Of doing it. All right, Jonas is going to do yeah. Occupy Department of Energy. He's going to fix the problem first. Thank you, Jonas. Thank you, gang. Always terrific. Occupy Pro 